Hi there and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well. How's your day been today? Anyway, my name is Azalea and today I'm coming with you with a full face of Mary Kay products. First and foremost, I want to go over that I did first go in with the clear proof system with Mary Kay. I only used three out of the four products. So I did go within with the cleansing gel, the toner, and then the moisturizer. I didn't feel I needed to go in with the acne treatment because I'm not really experiencing a current breakout. So I figured why should I use it? Anyway, since I've already gone ahead and washed my face with that, I figured I would go ahead and let you know that my face feels really good. Like, it feels great. It is nice and soft and smooth, and I do really, really like that. So anyway, a lot of the products, <laughs> a lot of them, I'm going to be going in with are actually the samples that you can actually get. So anyway, I think that it is great that I can get sample products just like everyone else. I am now completely and utterly blind and I'm also going to be using my fingers to apply everything. So I really hope that that does not bother you, that I am not actually using, going to be using any makeup brushes or anything. So first I am going in with the sample of the face primer. Oh wow, there's actually probably enough in this one sample for two uses. This face primer, it is, oh my gosh, it is making my skin feel like silk. I will say that I did also forget to mention that with the Mary Kay products, you actually only really need the tiniest amount. So even what I just showed you on camera is probably way too much. Oh my gosh, this just feels so good. Next, I'm going to be going in with the TimeWise Matte 3D Foundation. I think I got this in an ivory shade. I don't know. I can't tell you what shade I actually got it in at the moment. But I do generally have normal skin, but I don't see that Mary Kay has a satin foundation, which is what I actually really prefer. Right now, I'm actually feeling like this is a pretty good match to me. I know it may not have looked like it looked like it was a great match right there, but here in person, uh, this is actually looking like a really, really good match to my skin tone, um, and including with my undertone. So I am actually really liking this. So anyway, what do you think? Does that look like a good match to you? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, here, here in person, it looks like a good match. It doesn't really feel like I have anything extra on my skin, though I probably have some extra stuff on my hands. Okay, so next I'm going to try to see about going in with some eyeshadows, but I I do know that this shade that I'm getting ready to go into is actually called Crystalline. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's go in with another one. It's gonna be a little bit of a bronzy, coppery color and it actually seems quite shiny and I actually like that. Okay, so now that that is done, I am going to be going in with a contour stick. I do not know how long this is going to be available, but this is also the lightest shade they have available. Also, when you do contour or bronzing, it is actually best to get into a light that isn't really, really bright like the one that I'm sitting in front of now. So natural lighting or dim lighting, and then you're gonna have to move your face around so you can see where the shadows naturally fall on your face. Where those shadows are on your face is where your contour and or your bronzer goes. And the same goes for highlight, except instead of the shadow, it's the high points of your face where the light hits it. So just a quick little tip there. And I, I have done my makeup enough that I already know where my highlights and shadows fall on my face. Next, I am going to go into the Mary Kay At Play highlighting stick. This is a very rosy looking shade. I'm gonna try one little spot and if it looks more like blush, then I will use it as a blush rather than the blush sample I have.
Now I've got a lip liner in the light nude, I believe. And then I will be going over with a lip color from one of the duos that they have available. Okay, so this is a full face of Mary Kay. I am actually really liking the results. Now the only thing that I forgot to use was my eyeshadow primer. I bought it and I forgot to use it. <laughs> Honestly, that happens a lot with me. I have eyeshadow primer and I just forget to use it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you later. Hope to catch you in my next one. Bye.